Two can play at that game. We can try for a baby. Party lights are activated. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, everybody. If you don't already know, I'm Kelsey, and I'm so, 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 so excited to be at last filming in the space. Purple is like the theme of my channel and the theme of this room, and so we are rocking some purple lights. It happens to be Plum Generation, so it couldn't have worked out better. We are vibing with the purple. I am so, so excited. Oh my gosh. I have a feeling the twins are gonna become toddlers of this episode, and I am not ready to have three Todds. Todd Mageddon has come for me once again. Luckily, I'm in my Zed room, so hopefully this will keep me nice and calm, right? I just love this room so much. Look, I got more plants over there. Look at all those plants. We're back in the Barry household. It looks like downstairs we have a friend's hangout that's just beginning. Theo is inviting over our Aunt Riley and Genevieve, and it looks like also Kala is here. Oh, mom's here too. Skylar Barry, which, okay. The weirdest thing is that Fox can't interact with Skylar. There's just no interaction option. Come on, I want them to have a relationship game. I can't figure out how to cheat them into a relationship, which sucks because he can talk to Casey, but he can't talk to Skylar. Is it because Skylar's kind of famous? I don't know. It bums me out though, I'm not gonna lie, but it's fine. Theo at least can chat with Skylar. Fox, I guess we'll get to know Skylar when he's older. I just, I don't like that. Like Skylar was the queen of parenting. I feel like she should get to know the next gen. Sad. But anyway, Amethyst is vibing. When are we aging up? Here. This is probably around the time when the divorce is gonna happen. So we've got like another week and a half until Amethyst ages up. But it looks like on Friday, the twins age up and then on Saturday, Fox ages up. So yeah, we will have a lot of birthdays, I believe in this episode. Slate is hungry. All right, dad, why don't you check on Slate here? I love how Fox is in the room talking to grandma. He's just gonna keep talking to grandma while Theo comes up to take care of the babies. Amethyst is cooking a meal of some sort. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's some mobile tea. Have you eaten? Are you hungry? Oh, she's a little hungry. Well, why don't you eat your sandwich that you made? Okay, Fox is getting put to bed. Oh, he's being held. This is so sweet. Oh my gosh. Wait, is he stinky? Or is that Theo? No, it's definitely Fox. Fox needs a bath, but he'll get a bath in the morning, I suppose. My brain is like, should we have one more baby? It would make sense that maybe Fox got like a little bit less attention as he got older because there's just so many kids in the house. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. If either of them come up that they wanna woohoo with each other, maybe I'll let them. Why don't you give your husband an embrace? Cause he wants to hug someone from being happy. Does that count? It did count. Look how cute they are. Oh wait, they should both buy a lottery ticket cause it's the lottery day today. And we're gonna see if maybe we can make some money in the lottery. <laughs> Theo, I guess we'll buy his next. Actually, he loves the tradition of playing the lottery, whereas Amethyst could kind of care less. I wonder what Theo would do if he won the lottery. I feel like maybe he would suggest them like buying a house, but they wouldn't move far because he has his like gym. Oh, speaking of which, he needs to work on his charisma. Ooh, looks like our little man is up. Let's give a bath to Fox here. She's work at 7 a.m. And Theo has work right now, but he actually is taking the day off because he's uh, taking paternity leave for his new babies. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited for Fox to age up. I want to see what he looks like as a little kid. What mischief he gets up into. I can't wait to get him very mischievous. All right, how's it going? He's feeling inspired. Hopefully he can finish this skill. We got a baby that is upset. How's Fox doing? Fox is gonna put himself back to sleep because he's tired. That's sweet. Good job, Fox. What a good boy. Everyone's doing great. All right, come on, finish up this skill so you can be promoted to the next level and be a personal trainer at last. Oh my gosh, why is Fox up? He's throwing a temper tantrum. My neighbors again are... Mm, I cannot, I, I cannot. We are literally related and you know we have a toddler. You have raised children. You are actually better than this. What the heck? Be like, hey, Riley, can you not please? I'm sorry, you're right. I was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. Okay. Luckily, Riley loves us because we are family. But oh my gosh, this has put us straight on our relationship. Cat Barry, what are you doing playing in the garbage again? Oh, it looks like the fox is 
doing great now. Good job, Fox. Why don't you go to sleep? Mom's gonna repair this toilet here. Oh my gosh, there's always something going wrong in this old cranky apartment here. But it is perfect for their family, so there's no point in moving. Fox reached thinking level three. Good job, Fox. All right, why don't you go to bed? And Violet is up and stinky. There's always someone to take care of. Theo, have you finished it yet? He has finished his charisma level, I think. Yes, he has. Excellent. Go use the toilet, Theo. Okay, don't worry about that. Theo's got that. He'll clean up in there. You take care of the babies. It's almost Theo's birthday? Wait. Oh my gosh, he only has two days until he's an adult? I just feel like something's going on with Amethyst. It feels like she stayed young like for an extra long time for some reason. Because I think I put Theo into the world after she was already a young adult. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Oh, the lottery was successful. Oh, I thought that meant that we won. It did not mean that we won. Okay, Theo, it's your turn. Come wake up and take care of these babies. He's so happy. He loves the new babies. He's like, I'm so happy with all my new babies. Stop putting these toys away. I like the toys where they are. I put them there for decor, Theo. Oh, Dale Edo passed away. Oh, Uncle Dale. Oh no, she's gonna be sad when she wakes up. I guess Uncle Dale was a younger brother of dad. I forgot that dad was dead. Oh, I forgot Cannon was dead for a minute there. Oh, so tragic. Oh, Theo likes video gaming. I love that Theo and her have like a lot, like he's picked up a lot of hobbies that she has and likes them, like gaming and dancing and stuff. Like, I just think that's so sweet. See, now he's gaming upstairs. So funny. Maybe you need to go to sleep, dude. Oh, what stinks? Is it my cat? Oh my gosh, cat, please stop knocking over the trash. But we're also going to give you a treat because we love cat. Cat is a good cat. Fox is asleep. Okay, everyone's asleep. It's like 6 a.m. Oh, Violet's up and hungry. Okay, go. Go feed Violet real quick. Sorry, cat. The baby needs attention. I guess we'll go to work with her because we do need to successfully diagnose and treat three patients to get to our next level. But I don't know if we need to be that high up in the doctor career. I feel like right about now is when she's starting to feel less enthused about it. But maybe we'll still go and joke around with our coworkers and everything. She's thinking about video games. She's like, man, having babies in video games is different than in real life. I bet it is. Oh, let's join her. I love how we we were headed out just as my toddler son woke up angry. I'm like, oh, and I'm out. Bye, I gotta go. <laughs> Oops. All right, Amethyst is at work, baby. Ooh, we don't have like a long line like we always do. <gasps> Carla Holland? I remember Carla Holland. Did she become an elder while we were here? She just died. Oh, it's Liz Miles. Remember when we downloaded Liz Miles? Who else is here? Austin Yamaguchi and Hannah Abe. Okay. All right. She's given her some swabbing. Right, let's check her ears. A weak diagnosis is available. Okay. I have a feeling it's something with the head though. Let's work on this patient sample. Maybe that'll help. Come on, baby. Log the sample analysis results. I can't believe I'm working with a ghost. Ghost. Presence of infectious illness with Amethy needs to diagnose and treat. Okay, so she definitely is ill. Ooh, okay. Flip. There's three options. I'm gonna go bloaty head, to be honest, because I saw her messing with her head. So we're gonna try to treat her and see what happens. We cured our patient! Oh my gosh, I'm actually brilliant. I'm so good at this. Next up is Austin Yamaguchi. Let's swab him for a sample. Oh, Aylin Hogan won the lottery. Dang it. Ugh, I thought we would win. We had better chances because two of us entered. Okay, check the patient size. I've never won the lottery. I'm like, is it even possible in The Sims? We gotta scan him in an x-ray machine. Oh my gosh, the ghost is very focused. Got that good full body scan. The results indicate a possible ailment. Oh, good. We have more things to do though. All right, we can take the temperature. Are you running a fever? Okay, a decent diagnosis. Let's check ears and scan body. I don't really want to perform a treadmill test on him, but I will if I have to. Is that his chest? I thought I heard a duck noise. Did you eat a duck? That it was alive. All right, we're gonna take you for one more test. I wanna see if maybe the duck quacks more when you're on the treadmill. Maybe that's why he's wearing ducks on his outfit. He's just is a big duck fan. Are you a big duck fan? Wow, it looks like it's raining inside with the amount that this man is sweating. We should make a little fenny joke, you know, tell a little knock knock joke. Lighten the mood after this man had to run. Although he looks pretty chipper about it, honestly. He's smiling through the pain. Oh, nope, never mind. That looks painful. We've run like every test. Why don't I know what is wrong with you? 
you. Let's put him back in the bed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is that Sim gonna die? No, she's fine. I just saw the orderly get struck by lightning outside. Maybe come inside. Oh my gosh. We have another ghost. We have two ghosts working with us right now. Okay, discuss the general health. I have no idea what diagnosis this guy has. All right, I'm gonna guess bloaty head again, even though that feels like it could be wrong. Yes, cured. Oh my gosh, two for two. It looks like bloaty heads going around, you know? Assess collapsed sim. <gasps> A sim collapsed? Where? I hope they're okay. Oh my gosh. I would have loved to see a collapse sim. You know what I mean? I would be a very terrible doctor because I, I just want the drama. Oh wait, alerting Dr. Harris. Oh, I forgot her last name had changed. An extremely sick sim just stumbled into the waiting room, barely conscious and able to stand. Quickly come to the front reception desk. We need urgent medical attention staff. Oh, this is the sim that's fainting. Oh no, it's Jillian. Okay, we gotta treat with some surgery. Oh my gosh. We're washing our hands. We're getting ready for surgery. We're scrubbing in. Don't worry, Dr. Amethyst is here. She is a professional. Okay, this is some Grey's Anatomy type stuff. All right, we're assessing the collapsed sim. We're gonna treat her with some surgery. It's okay. It is okay, Jillian. Wait, it looks almost like Jillian is pregnant. You gotta be extra careful because we don't wanna lose the baby. Okay, here we go. We're taking her in for a surgery. I didn't even know we did surgery on these machines. Here we go. Amethyst's first surgery. Holy nuggets. And she's T-posing. It's okay, Jillian. We're gonna take good care of you, even though you accidentally keep moving back and forth through my legs. It's part of the procedure, okay? She is not staying calm. It looks like we're tickling her. Everything is going according to plan, except for the machine is not moving, but it's making noises, so I think it's working. Looks like we got her. Oh no, she passed out. Wake up, Jillian. You're not allowed to leave us yet, okay? You will get through this, Jillian. Oh my gosh, we did it. The operation was successful. With the correct diagnosis, Amethyst has treated Jillian Delgado's ailment with an operation on the surgery table. Jillian Delgado is fine, and we finished our third diagnosis and treatment. We are ready to go on. She's thinking about her babies. Maybe she's thinking about having another baby, you know what I mean? But she's really hungry. Yeah, she can go eat a BLT sandwich. I have a feeling though that we're gonna be home before you even get to eat that, but you know, take a break. You deserved it. You worked hard. You know, maybe Amethyst is looking around here and going, you know, th things are feeling pretty dead at the office. It's not bringing me life like it used to. Get it? Cause half of the people working here are ghosts now. Anyway, ooh, we did a fantastic job today, but we didn't get a promotion. I think we might get a promotion next time we go to work though, so nailed it. How's Fox? Fox is good. Why don't you ask for potty help from Amethyst since she just got home and her needs are pretty good. Be like, mom, can you teach me go potty, please? I've been at home with dad all day. Dad's like, I'm gonna take a nap. I've been with our son all day and I'm exhausted. Taking care of three kids all day sounds like a lot of work. So shout out to Theo. Looks like Violet is up and upset. Dad, we're tapping you in because we're working on potty training right now, all right? We have a baby that is a upset once again. What do you need? What's wrong with the baby? Oh my gosh, we have another crying child. What's wrong? He's sad from being hot. Let's change you into your hot weather outfit since you're hot, okay? It's okay, buddy. I know it's hot outside. We'll change you. It's okay. He's level two on potty and imagination. Teach to talk. Sure, we'll teach him to talk. Kind of wanted to teach him about responsibility, but I think he has to be a little older for that. Oh, Theo's just sitting in here watching the babies. That is so sweet. Look at him. He's just enjoying himself looking at these babies. Ooh, he wants to do something romantic. Oh, he's hungry. All right, we need to make some food for our son. So can you cook some food for the whole family? Why don't you cook? Oh, well, he's already done it. I guess we'll just cook these grilled cheeses. Oh, look, it's Yukata Hashimoto, our aunt new husband who we just kind of like, you know, it feels like ever since he moved in, my aunt's been like very loud. They've been getting into fights. They've been playing loud music. It just seems like a toxic relationship. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the best feeling about him, to be honest. Dad is making those grilled cheese. Let's grab a serving, finish our lessons. Mom's gonna grab a serving too. We're all gonna eat together. How sweet is that? The whole family's gonna be able to sit down and eat together. Except for Fox, this takes a little bit more time to get down the stairs, poor baby. He probably is gonna get down the stairs by the time his dad's done eating. Yep, well, we tried to get the family to eat together, but 
<laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't fully work out. It'll work out next time. We'll all eat together and have a family meal when he's a little older. But you know, we can do family dance party. What does she like? Hip hop? I think she likes hip hop music. Let's teach Fox to dance. Come on, family dance party. Let's go. Oh my God, they're fighting again. I feel like we need to break them up. <laughs> Look at them all. She's so cute. She's teaching Fox dancing. She's like, I love my little dance baby. Look at him go. They're having a good time, even though the neighbors are being loud. Cause Fox can't go to bed when the neighbors are this loud. Also, he doesn't really need sleep right now. Ooh, he's gotten flirty. Oh my gosh. He wants to watch a romantic TV show. Seriously, that's what you want? Oh my gosh. This family dance party is the cutest thing I could ever hope for. Oh no, Violet's upset. Family dance party lasted as long as it could. Let's have Theo bang on the door and tell him to stop. Oh, I can't. Can Amethyst? Nope, we just have to deal with it. All right, well, dad and son will continue the dance party. And she's gonna talk with the babies and then we'll have her disco nap. Oh, it's too noisy for her to sleep. Oh my gosh, we can't sleep. No one can sleep because it's so flippin' noisy. But you know what they could do? They could have a nice little moment together. Music's finally turned off. Let's have our kid go to bed since it's like midnight. But you know, it seems like Theo might be a little bit in the mood, feeling a little flirty. We take a nice little shower after your work. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're still madly in love. Oh my gosh, grandma's here. Skylar, can you take care of the babies since you're here? <gasps> she can interact with Fox. Friendly introduction, she can introduce herself to Fox. Okay, this is very sweet. Wake up because grandma Skylar's gonna introduce herself to you. At last, there we go. Now we can talk with grandma. This is so cute. What do these babies need? He's like, it's almost your birthday. Birthday. Don't worry about it. And Fox is getting one-on-one -on -one time with grandma and Amethyst is getting to sleep. That is perfect. This is perfect teamwork here. Oh, look at them. I knew grandma Skylar and Fox would get along. Totally worth using cheats to make Skylar introduce herself. Oh, so sweet. Why don't you put Fox to bed since it's almost 2 a.m. Fox, you were up all night, my young son. And Violet's upset and awake. Oh my gosh. Go shush, Violet. What is happening? All the children are up nonstop. It's okay. What do you need, Violet? It's okay, Violet. All right, Violet's fine. Let's go to sleep. Oh my gosh. The babies are not sleeping through the night. Oh, and Skylar's doing push-ups in the hallway. All right, Grandma. Grandma Skylar's just chilling, waiting for some babies to get up. What is going on here? Do you see that? That's creepy. I hate that. She's hanging out with the cat though. Oh, love that. I feel like Skylar and cat always got along very well. Grandma, are you gonna take care of that or do I need to wake up someone? She's gonna go. Okay, hopefully she takes care of it. The baby needs a diaper change. So try again, Grandma. Nope, Grandma decided to leave. All right, Theo's got you, baby. He's gonna change the diaper. I know it's uncomfy to have a dirty booty. I get it. He's like super pleasantly satisfied from woohooing and woohooing in the shower. Aw. Amethyst seems like she's been handling her uncle's death pretty well. Oh my goodness. And Slate is up. All right, let's change Slate diaper really quick and then go use the toilet. There we go. I think it's their birthday today. Yes, it is. Okay, we can age up the twins today. Finally. I'm excited to see what the babies look like when they are aged up. I have mom take a quick power nap here and then maybe go grab some food. Food. Does she have work today? She does not have work today. Okay, but does dad have work today? Dad does have work today. Okay, so we're gonna hang out with all the kids in Amethyst. Oh no, maybe we will wait until dad gets home to age the kids up. We could have grandma come over and help us. That could be kind of nice. Maybe we'll do that. They're eating grilled cheese for breakfast. A power move. We love to see it. She's so stressed. Let's do a little workout, all right? Let's do a little dance video. You love dancing. Maybe that'll feel better. Oh, the babies are both needing bottles. So dad's gonna take care of it. Don't worry. You work out, de-stress a bit. Dad's got this. All right, do your little workout video. It's okay. Oh yeah, baby. Go to work on off hours. No, 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 no. We're not doing that today. I don't care that you can. You are not going to work on off hours. You have children to take care of. Cat loves her food. Good for you, Cat. I'm glad that you love your food. Maybe take a mud bath. I don't know. Oop, dad is reading a children's book in here. All right. Violet is a drama queen. Oh, I love that Fox is right here watching 
watching mom. See, she's feeling better after working out. All right, now she's feeling stressed again. Go take a mud bath. I feel like that will be a nice spa day moment. Dad will take care of helping with the babies and the kids before he has to head out for work. Fox and cat are getting into mischief as usual. Oh my God, and the babies are upset again. Again, no, we don't want a new job, okay? We're supposed to be chilling. Okay, Amethyst, you gotta just get out of the mud bath, unfortunately, and take care of your baby. She's feeling confident now though, so that's good. Oh, I wonder if she's pregnant. Let's take a pregnancy test. I wanna see if she's pregnant again. She's not pregnant, okay. Aw, I'm like a little bummed about that. Oh my gosh, someone's having makeup woohoo next door. All right, Amethyst, why don't you knock politely on the door? Be like, hey, okay, my son's here. Think, yeah, looks like they might come out and be quiet. Oh my God, he's in a towel. Polite introduction. Sorry, I ruined your mood. Oh, he's angry. Of course he is. But now he's happy. All right. Complain about some loud noises. Be like, hey, you know, it's so good to meet you. I heard a lot of good things. My son kind of gets frustrated with the loud noises. Hey, I live here too. I'm sorry, your life is boring. <gasps> I hate this man. He is literally the worst. Why are we hugging it out? All right, at least dad and son are playing. Even if they're very glitched. Smooth apology. All right, sorry to bug you. Are they gonna just keep going back at it now loudly? Cause two can play at that game. We can try for a baby. We can be loud. No, you are not coming over. Send home, get out of here. My son needs to go to the bathroom. Ooh, you should go potty by yourself. Go to the potty. You're a big boy, you can potty yourself. Our baby is crying and we're gonna woohoo. It's revenge woohoo for them making saying that we aren't fun. We're fun, we have woohoo all the time, okay? We just have three kids and it's hard. We're fun, my son is taking himself potty like a responsible baby, even though he wants to yell at his mom. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Slate is like absolutely upset. He's gonna be a little bit late to work, but you know what? He'll be in a better mood at work. Okay, now we gotta take care of this baby and Theo's gotta go to work. He's like, all right, that was fun. Hopefully he'll be a personal trainer after today. That'll be good. And Amethyst is taking care of the baby. These babies are a pain. What do you need now? Violet, oh my gosh. Everybody needs something. Poor Fox is just like, oh, it's fine. I'll go play with my big cat, my big tiger cat. All right, mom's just sitting down now. Let's take a pregnancy test. I want you to be pregnant. I don't know why I want a big family all of a sudden in The Sims. I know it's just gonna stress me out. She's pregnant! <laughs> Yeah! All right, this is gonna be the last one, I promise. We can't keep having kids. It's almost Fox's birthday. I am aware. We're gonna have a new baby just as we get two toddlers and a child. We'll send everybody to daycare. Oh my gosh, did mom just go to work? What happened? She just went into work on her day off. Stop that. Utterly disrespectful. Theo may be simply cheering the team on from the sidelines, but he takes the role of defending his team's honor very seriously. And would you believe it? The visiting team's cow mascot is dancing right in the center of the field. I think we had the same thing for our last gen and the other team's being disrespectful, but I also don't think Theo's the type to fight anyone. So I think he's just gonna ignore it. He's gonna be the better person, the bigger person. All right, I guess I'll just wait for Amethyst to come home from whatever stupid work thing is. I don't know why you're tense when you're at work. I hate the workaholic trait, I hate it. Also, I don't think she would be a workaholic. I just don't think that that's what she is, but it's fine. Let's cook a fancy dinner for everybody, okay? Chicken stir fry sounds delicious. Delicious. Let's do that. All right, why don't you work on your imagination? Play with the toy. Imagine that you're attacking a town with a monster. There he goes, now he's level three. Okay, we're working on his skills. You know, I'm not always perfect at working on, ch oh yes, okay, perfect. Personal trainer or minor leaguer. No, he's gonna be a personal trainer. That is what we've been working towards. He got promoted to personal trainer. He will now make eight simoleons per hour for a total of 47 simoleons per hour. That is perfect, okay. I'm so glad he's a personal trainer now. I think that's like the perfect job for him. I also really like that he is in a different branch of the career than his mother-in-law. All right, why is Fox so mad? Oh, Fox needs to go to bed. All right, go to sleep, Fox. I know you're a little hungry. Mom was making dinner for everybody, but you can eat it when you wake up, okay? Good night, buddy. Our husband is home so we can age up the baby. Okay, here we go. Oh, Violet aged up and she is inquisitive and has white hair. Oh my gosh. Dad, why don't you age up our beloved Slate and see what Slate looks like. And Slate is angelic, perfect. Slate and Violet are now toddlers. 
so cute. We need some toddler beds. So we got a toddler bed here and a bed here. And then we'll have their toddler potties right here. The chair seems a little cramped in here. So we might end up deleting the chair and then instead putting some other stuff in here for like toddlers. So maybe we'd put a cute little toy box we can put at the end of this bed. We need the toddler defender light. We'll put one here. Oh, these are cute. Do they come in like a purple? Oh no, they do come in purple. Cute. We'll put little like twinkly lights on the windows. That's sweet. I love that. Okay. I think this looks good. Makeover time. All right. Violet is first. Part of me is like, oh, well she could have purple hair like mom, which is cute. Or she could have gray hair like grandma, which is also cute. I mean, it is kind of cool. Maybe I'll just leave it, you know? And then Violet is going to have purple outfits. Violet will get like this cute little top and maybe some cute little pants to go with it. Looking cute, you know what? I think the white hair might grow on me. And then Slate has just like dark hair, which I, I love as well. Oh, I like his like long hair actually. I might just keep his aesthetic how it is because it looks really sweet. And then Slate will also be in purple, but maybe like a more, I don't know, like a darker purple. Okay, so here's Slate and here is Violet. Oh, I think we might age up our bebe in the morning because I want to have toddlers all together for the least amount of time as possible, really. Oh my gosh, I have three toddlers and I have a baby on the way. I have three toddlers and a baby on the way. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? It's out here accidentally having a 100 baby challenge. <laughs> Yep, she is a little bit hungry and so is he. Okay, let's go downstairs. Let's bring up some, oh my gosh, cat. Stop playing in the trash. Dad's gonna fix it. Mom is gonna feed the kids. All the toddlers are grabbing food. Cat learned not play to play in the trash. Good for cat. These kids are so cute. Oh my gosh, why is Fox angry? Oh, he's angry because he's stinky. Oh my gosh, Amethyst, stop going into work without me telling, ah, you're leaving your husband alone with all of these children. Are you kidding me? No, we're not cooking. Oh my gosh. Repair. What the heck? Four Fox is just wanting a shower. Meanwhile, Theo has to take care of everything himself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stop. This is the worst. Amethyst, get your butt back here. I do not care that you want to work. I don't care. I'm sorry. You want to go into work at midnight pregnant? Are you kidding me? I don't care that you're stressed about work. It's all about Theo's birthday by throwing a rocking party. Wait, is it Theo's birthday today? It's Theo and Fox's birthday. Okay, well, we're gonna have to make a nice little cake. All right, Fox is taking himself to bed. He's like, I am going to bed. Let's put all the Todds to bed. They're all going to bed. Oh my gosh, Amethyst, stop it. I hate that she can just go into work whenever she wants. Well, why don't you go take a disco nap? Everybody is asleep. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna add another child to this family. Oh my gosh, and Slate is up. Why don't you take a nap? Oh my gosh, who's aging up? Is it Cat? <gasps> Cat's aging up into an elder cat. Cat's past her peak and has become an elderly cat now. Now. Oh my gosh, everyone is aging up today. Okay, when does he have work? In three hours? We'll celebrate it after work. They're both gonna come back from work. It's fine. Everybody's gonna go to work today. The kids are all gonna go to grandma's house. She's perfect. And then Fox and Theo will be aged up and we'll have a little bit more help around the house. Although I have a feeling Fox is not going to be that much help. And Slate is farting up a storm. He's just chilling. Why don't you play with some toys, all right? Oh my goodness, Slate is probably obsessed with his big brother, Fox. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna send her alone. Have fun at work today, Amethyst. I know you're having withdrawals, so I'm sure you'll have fun. Okay, I don't know what this weird work obsession is. I think maybe she's overwhelmed at home. I know I am. He has work right now too. Ooh, Violet acquired the potty skill while at daycare. Good job. Violet acquired the imagination skill. All right, who came home? It's Theo. Theo came home first. He brought home a lot of money. All the kids are upset. There's trash on the floor. Oh my gosh, Fox needs everything. All of his needs are bad. Violet at least just needs fun. So like Violet can just play with some toys and Slate's hungry. All right, let's grab some food for the kids. Oh my gosh, we need to throw a birthday party, but mom's not home yet. This is too many Todds. This is too many Todds. All right, dad, you got to take care of some stuff. Okay, let's fix the jam. We got to take out the trash here and then we need to take care of our son's needs because he's like not having a good time. Why don't you take a nap? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, but this is home. Did she get a promotion? She did! 
she was promoted to doctor and general practitioner. Oh my gosh, she makes so much money. All right, good job, Amethyst. She needs to perform surgery on three patients. She's level seven. Honestly, we can leave it here. Let's cook everybody a cake. All right, I'm gonna go zombie cake just because I think that my son will get a cake out of that. So, oh, Sterling's calling. Yeah, we can chat with you, Sterling. I feel like it's been a minute since we've had our brothers over. Why don't we have a party? We're gonna plan a social event. It's five o'clock. That's like perfect party time. Oh no, Violet is upset. Violet, go to bed. Birthday time. Everybody's coming over for a birthday. Oh my gosh, there is Sterling. He's a team. Oh, they're growing up so fast. Put some candles on. And then we're gonna age up our husband first. Theo, play a musical instrument for one hour. All right, she's gonna sing some songs. Please get off the phone. Do not let anyone eat that cake, please. Thank you. All right, she's gonna play some music. He is blowing out the candles with everybody here, or at least some people here. Theo aged up adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crisis is away, or at least they will for him with this. Perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Very good. Oh, they all celebrated him. Now it's time to help blow out candles for Fox. Fox, it's your birthday now. Theo's gonna age up our young son who is absolutely miserable right now. I feel like that always happens during birthday parties. Okay, here we go. Okay, Fox aged up. We didn't get to see what he looks like. All right, so he is going to be evil, self-assured, and a glutton. Okay, so let's go for self-assured. I feel like that matches best as him as a child. And since he needs to be self-assured, glutton, and evil, maybe like a motor skill. He like wants to climb around a lot. I like his hair okay. Let's check him out in MC Command Center. Let's give him a bit of a makeover and see what we can come up with. Okay, I like the braids. Let's see what other natural hairstyles we have. Cause we had this for when he was a kid, which honestly I still really like. All right, I think I'm gonna go for this one. I like this one a lot and I think it kind of suits him. I am seeing a lot more of amethyst in him actually now that I'm seeing him. Like he's definitely has amethyst eyes. All right, and her like cooler skin tone. We could do just like an orange. Oh, that looks pretty good actually. Just like an orange hoodie. Yeah, he looks cool. He looks so grown up. I'm kind of flabbergasted. Oh, that's pretty fun. Let's do that for his fancy wear. Okay, athletic wear. You can do just like a nice little orange look with his orange shoes. Sleep wear. Ooh, I like this. I think that's kind of cool for him. Party wear. I realized that like all my CC is for women and I have no CC for men and boys at all. So like, oh, maybe I should get some. Beachy wear. Ooh, I love the sunglasses. We'll keep that, we'll keep that. That looks cool. All right, we'll do like maybe this. Looks like he's a little bit into sports right now, which is kind of cute. I like the shorts already. And then we'll do like a flip flop. And then for cold weather, that's nice. All right, so this is Fox Berry as a young boy. Oh, he's so cute. He's a cute kid. It makes me sad that he's gonna grow up to be crime lord essentially, <laughs> but he's so cute. And his siblings turned out real cute too. And of course we've got Theo who is an adult now. I don't really think we need to do too much to change anything with Theo. Maybe we'll just like change up his clothing. We'll have a little bit more of like a dad energy. That's perfect, I love that. Oh, my Sims aged up in this whole family, except for Amethyst. Literally every Sim in this family, including the cat aged up in this episode, except for my main character. I feel like I've been had. <laughs> Here we have him, our sweet baby angel, birthday boy, Fox Berry. And I'm gonna leave this one here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.